In September of this year, it was announced that the Nintendo 3DS was going to be discontinued after almost a decade of service. Although Nintendo has moved on to other game consoles, I still felt a little bit sad as I was losing some nostalgic part of my childhood, even though I wasn't. I very much enjoyed it, and I could remember the concept trailer released for the 3DS, and I was like 12 at the time, and being amazed by it. The Street Pass, the 3D gameplay, it was amazing. But that video wasn't the only concept video that I was kind of amazed by at that time. Being some little 12-year-old, I also stumbled upon a company called Neuralware, and their product, Nekomimi. <laughs> it featured a young woman sporting these moving cat ears. It was a neurocommunication machine. It was a headband with a brainwave sensor and motorized cat-shaped ears programmed to turn up or down based on the wearer's electroencephalogram, <laughs> which are electrical potentials recorded at the scalp, influenced by thoughts and emotions. So basically, it reading your mood and then interacting. We know that cats and other animals are very expressive through their ears. Obviously, yes, that's the that's what we're doing here. Um, and having normal cat ears wasn't as cool as having the ones that can move around based on your <laughs> mood. You can be your whole Neko girl <laughs> or whatever. As a young child, I thought these were really cool. And I thought it was a sign of like how fast technology was changing or something like that. Uh, but I'm interested to see where they are now and where the company is as well because that was like almost a decade ago and mm, let's see what's happened. In November 2011, Time Magazine selected Nekomimi as one of the 50 best inventions of the year. Did the ears like actually work though? The YouTube channel for Neuralware features many videos showing the public reacting to the ears, but other reviewers can also paint a different picture on what they saw. Hey guys, I'm gonna review these today, the Neko Mimi Brainwave Cat Ears. I've seen a few videos of these on the internet over the years and I finally got my hands on my own pair. Oh my gosh, Neko Mimi! <laughs> okay, so I am focused and relaxed. A little- Don't do that face with the ears! And it's probably just not some championed cute mood reading robotic cat ears. It's got its flaws, but it's a weird technology. It's kind of an odd gadget. So I'm not really holding it to a very high standard, I guess. But the cat ears weren't the only gadget that Neuralware has. There's a number of them for augmented human bodies. If you didn't like the ears, how about a tail? We see a woman who is all smiles and is presumed to be happy. But if that wasn't clear, we have this motorized tail to make sure you got the message. I find it interesting that one would search for relaxing places and have an app which kept track of moods and everything. This is going along with the tail. This feels like a parody. She's thrown a frisbee. Buddy, she's not an actual puppy. I take it back. This is the best moment. Oh my god. <laughs> my guy has a tail too. That's a big reveal. Okay, the tail is an interesting concept, but again, how does it fare outside the world of promotional video? Well, there's really not much to go off of. It seems that even though it was released, the video was released like eight years ago, well, there's not really much. It seems to still be in the project tab on the website, and despite the video coming out like eight years ago, there only seems to be prototypes out there. I don't think people can really get a hold of the tail, the actual one. But I'm not really in the market for one. I just like seeing these gadgets. Like, what else do you have, Neuralware? The most recent project appears to be this funky mushroom looking thing called Note. A plan to revamp the diary, I suppose. Diaries, which we write about our daily lives, have changed its form from paper to digital. I don't know why this feels a bit eerie, but also pretty silly. Diaries have lost their function of reflection and introspection. Note Day is a new type of diary. It records your day through dialogue some trouble by forgetting to reserve the meeting room. That little tick! Note also records your feelings by analyzing your voice. So this little guy is not only listening but can analyze your voice and tell what emotion you're feeling. I can't even tell what emotion I'm feeling half the time. Did you find anything new today? What kind of question is that? I don't even answer that question in my paper diary, not talk to my mushroom about it. Oh, I found a small mole in the back of my senpai's here. 
she is joyful for her discovery. Would you like to relax? It'd be funny if when they asked if they would like to relax, the mushroom just shuts off. That would be relaxing. Not having to talk to robots. Breathe in from the nose. But instead, it just teaches breathing techniques, then which, you know, okay, cool, out, cool. Slowly. I, I see the mushroom. Greet tomorrow with a smile. You ever wanted more eyes to be watching you? Well, this might be cute, but I guess you stick this bad boy anywhere in order to then let it monitor human things. Humans and things. It can also record everyday moments with things. I'm not sure what that means, but I hope it's good things. Oh, it parents too. I love this, the clear no eyes and he actually listens. Oh, the robot has feelings you need to look after. Interesting. Interesting. 